Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. What a very weird way to start foot birthday. Team number one yesterday on FIFA 23. We had really good content in some areas and a lot of lackluster content, especially with the cards in packs. I want to talk about why we had so many few cards in packs yesterday, where the other cards are that are going to be coming out soon that are a part of this foot birthday promo, and what in the world EA is doing with these stat boosts, right? They're a bit unfortunate, but apart from that, there are some W's, especially the free, basically, foot birthday pack that we all get as a part of objectives right now. I want to take a look at that and more and of course the market. With the market yesterday a lot of stuff moved upwards but fodder has gone down and I think there's a great potential to invest this week because one of the pieces of foot birthday content we're going to be getting every day is going to bring some demand for those SBC fodder cards. So if you enjoyed the video today hit the thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you are new. Let's start by doing a little bit of a rundown on what happened yesterday on this game. Started all off with a bit of an L. The Pedri SBC, his cards earlier in this year with FIFA have gotten 5-star skills, but this one they gave a 5-star weak foot boost to, and they did not roll forward that 5-star skill upgrade. So we have a 4-star, 5-star Pedri, which is making this card, um, you know, one of the reasons why a lot of people are not a fan of it. Well, it also is a decent SBC because if you look at the card, you look at the stats, you look at the format, 5-star weak foot actually suits this card really, really well because, you know, he is a midfielder. So being able to pass with either foot is really good and valuable. The price point is a little bit much too, right? I don't like that there's no five-star skills. I don't like that the price point is a bit high. You can see the upvote, downvote situation here. A lot of people are doing this because it is Pedri. It's his best card that he has in the game. But for, you know, a mere price of 100,000 coins, you can go get a very similar card, right? Only a plus two upgrade in every stat category except dribbling is a plus one. And then you get the five-star skills and the four-star weak foot on the team of the year uh, version of Pedri, which is a very fun card that a lot of people like to use. I think this card would be the better weight. Even though it's 100,000 coins and it's tradable, um, I would think I would go and grab this instead of doing doing the Pedri SBC, but you can tell that people were doing the Pedri SBC. One of the cards that I held on to has up, uh, risen up a lot in price. Araujo was 700,000 coins yesterday, 750, and he is up over 100,000 coins, as so are some other uh, Barcelona links. Usman Dembele is a card that I bought yesterday at 520. Sold it a bit too early. He's up about 600,000 coins. So people are doing Pedri. I just think the value is not the best on this SBC, but it's a big name. So people are going ahead and they are doing it. Now, another part of the promo yesterday that was kind of mid, and this is probably the biggest complaint that basically everybody has, is the foot birthday cards that are in packs, guys. The stats just aren't that good, right? They didn't get very big stat boosts. We got all excited. We had high expectations for this promo, thought they were going to up the power curve, and they really didn't do it at all. Like, uh, guys, this Joao Felix, comparing it to his Winter Wild Cards version that he has, it is barely an upgrade, guys. You know he's getting the five-star weak foot alongside of the card. I tried out this Joao Felix today. I have used this card. I've also used now this card. They feel exactly the same. And why wouldn't they? Plus one shooting, plus one physical, plus one dribbling. Those are the only stats that change, of course, with the weak foot upgrade on the card as well that you get. It's not worth the... Literally, this is a 1.1 million coin difference between the Winter Wild Cards and this version for the five-star weak foot and for the Premier League Chelsea Lynx. It's really overpriced in my opinion, and uh, I think that's just how a lot of people feel about this promo team in packs. There's so few cards. We don't like that. Where's Darwin Nunez? Where is Zinchenko? Two of the arguably most popular cards that could have been in the promo release today that we saw from the leaks are in the mini release, man. Like, I think that's kind of crazy in its own right. We'll talk about the mini release here in a second. Uh, you know it's an L when the icons and the actual promo team are all combined on Footbin into one squad because they're always usually separate, right? Foot Fantasy, Foot Fantasy Heroes. We have the team of the year icons and the team of the year in one, in one team, uh, in separate teams. I mean, so this being all in one team, it just feels like a letdown because we have so few cards in packs. Now, there are some cool cards out here, right? And I like that they're cheap. Emerson, 110,000 coins, right? A lot of people like this because it's a Brazilian linking Premier League right back with five-star skills. 
Thomas Muller with the five-star skills as well. I think this card is disgustingly cheap. Thomas Muller is going to be a pretty solid card in FIFA. I know for a 91 rated, having no stat on the card that is 91 looks a bit disappointing. So that's a bit of an L. Lafont, five-star, five-star is cool. Um, Jabril So, if you need a budget Bundesliga center mid, this is your guy. He's going to be really insane in game for a really, really cheap price. But other than that, a lot of us are just disappointed with the upgrades. And that actually goes for the icons as well. This is the one that everybody's pointing at from a prime icon to the foot birthday icon for Cantona plus two passing plus one physical that's the only change that he got from his prime card and of course the five star weak foot boost and it's a difference of 3.5 million coins uh 3.7 million coins right now between the foot birthday and his prime card so it's crazy uh just how it worked out yesterday that was the biggest disappointment were the cards in packs and uh you know there was a lot of supply though still people opened a lot of packs yesterday i mean I even opened a good amount of packs yesterday just to try to pack something cool. The 10 coin pack that was in the store uh, was really the best value pack that they had dropped yesterday. Um, I opened some 83 doubles. I opened a bunch of other, opened the 83 times 10s I had saved up from the end of the foot fantasy promo even. Not, got really nothing good except for Chukweze, but I saved my last 82 times 20s for the mini release. I felt it wasn't just worth opening more packs because especially right now, there's not that much to craft and we're going to be getting stuff to craft here in the coming future. So that's something to look forward to and we'll talk about that. But putting all the kind of negative stuff aside, the best part about this promo is the objectives, guys. And the objectives, EA has knocked it out of the park. Started off yesterday, they released this foot birthday party objective early. You've got one, two, three foot birthday players inside of this objective alongside of an out of positions Maldini and then a base Maldini loan icon card. Um, and basically, it's very similar to what we've had last week at the footballers objective, right? It's kind of like you work your way through the objective and then at the end, you get a reward, but you get some good stuff along the way too, right? We get this 87 Alessandrini with five star skills, four star weak foot. That's a W card for an objective card. You get this uh, Lingard who also has uh, the five star weak foot, not the skills, but four star five star for Lingard. It's not an amazing card, right? But it's a fun one, right? And it's for pretty easy, right? Uh, play seven squad battles matches with the two different cards in your team. You get some packs and you get um, some tokens along the way as well, right? This There's a token that's available inside of here. We now have 13 tokens released. So again, some player picks, some packs in here, like a 84 times three and 85 times five. And then at the very end, you get an 86 plus road to the final foot fantasy or foot birthday team one pack. That was one of the new packs that was added to the code yesterday. You have two weeks to do this, so there's not a huge hurry. Um, but the objectives for this promo looking really good with this one. Now, also what we had yesterday was the play two style plus. Well, before I get there, Let's talk about the foot birthday daily login. We love daily login SBCs because EA has been making these very cheap this year. This is also incredible. And they know that we're going to need fodder throughout this entire week because of the daily player SBCs that are going to be dropping. Look at this, guys. I mean, the, the uh, daily login upgrade is one bronze player every single day that you turn in. We're going to have to keep up with this because it's only out for 14 days. And there are 12 completions that you have to get to get to, to the very end to get a 5 times 85 and to get all the other packs inside of this, uh, which there's some pretty good ones, a loan Pushkas, a swaps token. You have to get all the way to 10 completions to get a swaps token. Uh, there's also, um, I think another token. Yeah, another token here on seven days and then a, another token at four days. So make sure you start this off and get it completed. Make it part of your like daily routine, if you will. Maybe every time you watch the video, if you haven't do it, go and check. Make sure you've done the daily login upgrade. So that's a W. And then this is where EA gave out the free foot birthday team one player pack. This is the play two style plus objective. The, the way you get this objective unlocked and the way you get it done is you have to complete the play two style objective, right? We got, we know this, but this is how EA went out and did it yesterday. So I finished up all of my squad battles games with the Ederson, Madueke, all those other cards. I got mounts. I got the pack. I unlocked the play two style objective and boom, you get a foot birthday team one player pack. Now I'm tempted to open it right now in the video, but <clears throat> I'm going to save it because the mini release I think would be packable from this pack. And when the mini release is dropped in the game, there's some very interesting details about it that we kind of know about, but now knowing the players that might be in it, I'm definitely going to save that pack to give myself at least a shot at packing somebody pretty cool. So the objectives are a W and I think the SBCs have potential to be a W too, guys, because again, as you can see here, it says daily player SBCs. They're going to be bringing out icons. They're going to be bringing out player SBCs every single day. This is a two week promo. So I'm really excited for that and we'll 
talk about fodder here in a bit. The only thing with SBCs that I'm really not sure about is where are the leaks, at least for our swaps rewards? We knew we weren't going to get the actual swaps um, SBCs in the game until Monday. Uh, EA said that to us. But, um, I mean, where are there leaks? Like, I would, I'm just shocked that we don't have any news and information besides about those 85 times 10 and a foot birthday team one pack for three tokens. I'm shocked we have no other news and info about what is coming out during foot birthday swaps. Hopefully, EA is going to tell us more. Hopefully, we do get some leaks pretty soon. So, that's kind of a content roundup from everything that happened yesterday. Let me know your th uh, thoughts down in the comments, what you think about this team won a foot birthday. If you packed anybody sick yesterday, I know a lot of people were packing these cards. Let's talk about the market, right? Right? because I was able to make a good amount of coins yesterday. I sold too early on a lot of cards because since the content was kind of seen as an L day, you saw a lot of the market go up. And also with these foot birthdays, a lot of these cards have gone up as well, right? In the first couple of hours, Bernardo Silva was down to 900,000 coins flat. I was literally staring at one on stream. He was 900K. I barely had enough coins to buy him and I didn't. And I was trying to get one for cheaper on bid. And then all of a sudden, boom, he, he went up to like a million coins literally within three or four minutes time. Very, very rare card. So you saw some nice rises just as we predicted. Cards were their lowest in the first couple of hours yesterday. Not all of them, but most of them, right? Marquinhos was 700. He was just up. He's kind of back down again. Uh, Joao Felix, I bought at 1.37, tried him out for a few games, sold him at 1.5, and he's now up even further to 1.6. Um, and with the icon specifically, Pushkas was 4.1. Um, Mateus is 7 mil right now. Really rare card. He was all the way down at 5 million coins. So I think he just a rarity spike is happening there with that card. But most of this team is pretty cheap. I mean, every single player in this squad, apart from Felix, Marquinhos, and Bernardo Silva, are all around 100,000 coins or cheaper. I mean, I know there's only 9 cards in packs, so... Or full birthday cards, uh, at, at least. So that's kind of a bummer. The icons are pretty expensive, but it's nice to have Kuman, Rui Costa, and uh, Rush as some cheaper options out there as well. All of these cards will drop today in price 100%. Percent. All right, they're going to drop down some more today. I still believe this Felix card is massively overpriced. The icons may not drop as much, but um, a lot of people opened packs yesterday. When we got on and we saw all of these prices uh, in the first hour yesterday after content, it was evident that people were opening a lot of packs, even though the promo to us seemed not that great. I think people were just you know, thinking that Foot Birthday was going to be so hyped. They saw a couple of the players and they, I think a lot of people, myself included, were like, man, I've saved packs for so long and I've been waiting to open packs to have a real promo where cards were in packs. And with the icons, you know, it maybe was worth opening packs, but I, th I think some more people even continue to save further because we've got a mini release and just these cards didn't look that great. So I do expect all of the foot birthdays and some of the icons to dip down in price a bit more today, uh, even though they already are pretty cheap. There could be a couple of fluctuations this morning. Uh, a couple of them could go up a little bit. I think Emerson maybe is one who people will wake up today on Saturday and say, you know what, I kind of maybe want to go try this guy out. He is right now 115K. He was down to 100,000 coins earlier. I could see this card ending up around like 75 or 80K though later on this week for sure because you know what, prices usually don't uh, withstand their day one kind of threshold. But for the rest of the market, since the content was seen as kind of an L day for the most part, a lot of prices actually went up. Remember when Mudrick was 700,000 coins, below 700,000 coins here in the past couple of days? He is up big, 780K. A lot of the market, with the content being the way that it was, just kind of rose back up to values and to levels that it was at. I mean, even some cards are going higher than what they were before we had that pretty sizable market crash last week. And we're just kind of like shocked because it, this is not at all what we expected from Foot Birthday. Kula Bali is 600K, 590 right now. This guy was 530,000 coins yesterday. If you listened, uh, we shouted some Premier League defenders. I think that was a really good place to buy yesterday. And uh, that card went up a lot. Um, I saw like some Van Dyke special card. Uh, this one went up a good amount. The Rafael Varane. Had a good fluctuation yesterday, 1.3. He was under 1.2 earlier. So really good fluctuations on a lot of the Premier League cards. And just the whole market in general was a really good place to trade yesterday. Uh, a lot of cards went up. Ginola is another one. He was 1.15. I think now he's in the 1.2s, if I'm uh, being correct here. Yeah, 1.24, 1.25 for Ginola. So the market rose up very nicely yesterday because the content was viewed as 
not that great. Now, one part of the market, like we mentioned, right? Daily player SBCs. I'm going to focus on that a lot because there are some leaks and daily player SBCs always gets us hyped and it also makes fodder move in FIFA. And that's where I want to talk about if you're like, Nate, what can I do with my coins right now? This is the number one most popular investment and for good reason. Look at this, man. Fodder prices back down where they should be. 83s under 2,000 coins. It's a glorious sight. Get some of these guys on bids if you can. Some people were getting them on bid during the lightning rounds yesterday at like 1,000 coins. Yesterday, we mentioned it in the video, was going to be another really great time to get some fodder. And that was the uh, absolute case. But these cards at like 1.5K are great. 84s in the uh, 3.7 range are good. 85s at 10k sure why not stock a couple i just think that with all the sbcs that could co be coming out this week fodder across the entire board right now looks very investable or at least for a club stock because we're going to get a lot of sbcs um player sbcs right as mentioned on the ea website um or actually it doesn't it doesn't mention it here i don't think daily player sbcs are a part of this um but you know, we're going to have icon upgrade packs, potentially some party bags, right? It's a birthday, right? Party bags. The objective that they dropped yesterday was literally called let's get this party started or something like that or foot birthday party. So party bags are definitely something that could be coming during this promo as well. The only rating of fodder that I would not buy right now, and this kind of tells the story as to what went down in the game yesterday, 91s. 91s are exploding after content yesterday, and here's why. People opened packs yesterday, and they're like, man, what SBCs am I going to be rinsing into right now? Um, because, you know, yeah, we have a couple SBCs that are out. We have Mbappe, we have a Cruyff, uh, we have Pedri. There's an 88 rated squad in Pedri. And think about it. If you're opening an 82 times 20, 83 doubles, you're probably packing some 86s and 85s and 84s. Well, if you're going to figure out an 88 rated squad, you're going to have to buy some 91s and some 90s. So I think people went out and crafted Pedri, Mbappe, Cruyff, and players like that. And some of the other icon SBCs that are in this game right now, that's why 91s are going up. That's why I like them as a good investment. Uh, and all high rated fodder as a good investment for potential SBCs still coming um, in this week. So I like fodder as an investment across the board. Just get on some bids, get on some snipes, and uh, prepare to see fodder probably rise up a decent amount here in the next week um, as people will be wanting to do a lot of SBCs. Because speaking of these daily player SBCs, we do have some leaks, right? And that's what I want to talk about next, kind of a, to move forward into what's upcoming. Um, Ozil. A lot of people have been talking about Ozil recently because he announced his retirement. We're like, oh, end of an era, Ozil. Well, EA said, hold that. We're going to do a foot birthday, Ozil. Uh, this is a leak, at least. Um, and Ozil had a foot birthday card in FIFA 20 and FIFA 21. I've mentioned it before in the past. Some of you guys probably know that. I really, really enjoyed that card. Also, with Podolski back in uh, FIFA 21, it was an incredible card. So, hopefully, we get a 5 star 5 star five-star, five-star Ozil foot birthday SBC later on this week. That is one of the biggest leaks that we have right now at the moment for a foot birthday player. Uh, foot Sheriff has them as an objective or an SBC. I would imagine that since it's daily player SBCs, this is going to be an SBC. Kolasinac uh, is getting an SBC as well. We're a little confused here because he just had one like a month ago and as a part of the Showdown series promo, but it looks like EA said, hey, uh, he didn't get upgraded, so we can release another one, right? And it looks like that's what they are going to do. Um, and if, you know, his card looked pretty good then. If they're going to give him another SBC, uh, especially with an upgrade this time, we're talking maybe an 89 Colossonek, like the EA releasing the upgraded Colossonek SBC just later on, um, pretending that he got an upgrade, right? Sort of thing. So this could be a nice center back, links to the Alexa Sanchez, nice links in the League One as well. And uh, pretty, you know, good-looking card in terms of physicality, in terms of defense and, and the pace. So watch out for a Colossinek SBC soon. And then we've seen these other cards. We saw Joselu as an objective card yesterday. Pretty decent card there as well. And the Sassi, another French center back, added to come as a foot birthday player SBC as well. So we don't really know what order these are going to be dropped in, when they're going to be dropped. The only SBC that we really feel like might be coming today, at least in my opinion, would be Rivaldo. Um, since this was the second leaked SBC that we had, I would really think that Rivaldo could be dropped today. It also could be tomorrow on Sunday, maybe even Monday. But uh, Rivaldo is an SBC that a lot of people are, are excited for and they are looking forward to. Now, again, just not to get your hopes up too high, 
but I don't know if Rivaldo is going to have 90 pace or is going to look as good as this league has him because, again, we've seen the upgrades that they have been given these foot birthday icons, and they're not that fantastic. So be careful dreaming that Rivaldo is going to be super insane, but hopefully EA do the business here and release a really, really cool card. Another reason why fodder could be going up. Now, let's talk about those three cards that are in the mini release, according to Foot Sheriff. Darwin Nunez. Koke and Zinchenko, he says, are coming in a mini release. And he also mentions that twin uh, mini release concept, right? Uh, EA actually provided some clarification on what that is going to mean. Twin upgrades mini release. There are going to be two versions of the same player in packs at the same time. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, I know we've had the Fire and Ice promo. I know we've had a couple different promos where they've had two different versions of the same player, but not in packs at the same time time this is gonna be crazy there's gonna be two versions of darwin in packs at the same time two versions of koke two versions of zinchenko one with five star skills one with a five star weak foot um and it also says here in the faq that the uh versions you will be able to tell that it's a twin upgrade because it's gonna have this little symbol right here this little i don't even know what you would call that symbol uh above the overall of the player card so you can just imagine like Foot birthday Bernardo Silva. Imagine that it's um, Darwin Nunez with a little symbol on the top of the card, maybe up here at the very top. So that is very interesting. I don't know if the mini release is going to be today on Saturday or tomorrow on Sunday, but two cards in packs, same time. I'm guessing same stats as well, just with different five star weak foot or five star skill move boosts. So that's cool. I like the concept, um, but that's that's another reason to save your packs. Honestly, if you're doing a foot birthday team one pack, or if you've got you know an 82 times 20 like I have, that's why I am kind of saving my packs at the moment because I would rather wait to try to pack one of those really cool cards because why not? I kind of hope the mini release is today on Saturday, but most often mini releases are on Sundays. It could be either or, but we're going to keep an eye out for that in the next couple of days as well so the market's really healthy right now it's going to be a good day to trade on out of pack specials find some fluctuations get out there make some coins if you'd like to and get invested in the fodder if that's something you want to do as well or at least stock your club to get ready for some potential price rises i've got a lot of fodder right here, here as you can see some 90s 89s 88s I've got a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff in the club. So that's going to be the video. Again, let me know down below in the comments what you think about the promo yesterday. There are a lot of store packs that are out. We'll probably see some more of those today as well. Um, the big store pack was the 10 coin pack. I don't know if that's going to come back. I think that was a one time and done. Um, and then there's a lot of these like 375k pack. Uh, the pack weight for these cards is decent really it is if we're being honest an 86 plus star pack 20 percent of a foot birthday player uh, another reason why i think some of those lower tier ones are so cheap but we expect to see those prices dropping off today anyway since it is a saturday but if you enjoyed the video today smash thumbs up on a comment below if you have questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate the foot account and i'll see you guys later peace out <laughs>